Wait a minute. Did Jason Lee just threaten to expose Beyonce's dirty secrets? The receipts I just told y'all about, then I'll put those out. Mm. Ooh. The fires that will come over there. I ain't worried. I ain't going nowhere. I'm telling you no, right now, I'm not playing this industry game. Jason Lee must have some very damaging tea on Beyonce because he just blackmailed her in front of everybody and gave her the ultimate ultimatum. He's threatening to reveal some dirty secrets about her that could possibly destroy her entire career. Jason claimed Beyonce didn't honor him by inviting him to her Renaissance movie premiere, even though he spent over $40,000 on her tour tickets. He said if Kelly Rowland doesn't come on his show for an interview, he's going to reveal some very damaging information about Beyonce. Now, I don't know where exactly Jason Lee got the guts to come for Queen B like this, but he better have those receipts ready because we all know it never ends well for people who come for Beyonce. So all of this started after Jason got in his feelings because Beyonce didn't invite him to her Renaissance movie premiere. According to him, he and Beyonce have been friends for quite quite some time now, so he was very disappointed when she didn't invite him to her film premiere. He revealed he spent over $40,000 in Renaissance concert tickets and other merch for his friends and family, but Beyonce still didn't bother to invite him and had no problem inviting other influencers who barely even supported her. I think optically, when you don't include other black leaders in the culture in the fold, I mean, not just take me out of it, the Breakfast Club, I mean, you should have honored and brought more black when I spent thousands of th over forty thousand dollars in tickets and shared the experience with friends uh and I've done a lot and I'm not even going to say it here because if I did this internet Beyonce's good internet would go crazy oh but he didn't stop there he had two people in the room with him and he told them a little bit of the tea he had on Beyonce but he had bleeped that part out so we wouldn't hear it he later said if Beyonce succeeds in convincing Kelly Rowland to come on for an interview with him then he won't reveal what he knows but if she doesn't he's gonna spill everything and provide all the receipts I'm going to tell them why Johnny puts a beep over this part of the show so you'll never know what it is, but I want you to see their reactions and I'm going to do it right now. Ooh. And that's where I go back to like, we're friends in the game. We support each other. We 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 help each other out. Can you imagine had I put that on Hollywood Law? Oh, there's one more thing. Beat this, Johnny. Woo! So that in itself, I think Beyonce could have gave me a, you know what I mean? Like there should be a little love there. Now, Maybe she doesn't know. She know Beyonce doesn't know. Yeah, I don't think Beyonce. And they're not going to share that Yvette with her. Yvette knows. I got the receipts. Know. I still her have the receipts. Know. Yvette know I got the receipts. I got them. Now if now if I get that message to Beyonce, because yes, I she can needs get to it know. to be. Oh 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 oh! I'm connected. I could get the message to Beyonce. She needs to know. And I think people like her publicist, who I love, and I'm just being critical. That's just what I do. You know that, Yvette, we're trying to book Kelly Rowland right now. Now, if I don't get Kelly Rowland because I say this about, then then, then, then it's going to be a problem. Then I'm putting out receipts. The receipts I just told you all about, then I'll put those out. Mm. Ooh. The fires that will come over there. I ain't worried. I ain't going nowhere. I'm telling you no, right now, I'm not playing this industry game. Chow, the entitlement from this man is out of this world. And what's even crazier is after he literally blackmailed her and threatened to reveal something that could possibly destroy her career, he went on to talk about how much he loves her. I mean, this man is unhinged. I love Beyonce. I, this girl right here is ours. She's us. She. This is ours. We love this girl. We love her mama. We love everything about this girl. We love Solange. We love her Solange's son. We love we love the family. We love the twins. We love Lil Blue Jay. We love every. This is Black excellence. 
So I feel some type of way that one, you guys are saying that she's a, be trying to be a white woman. Y'all trying to say she trying to be a Kim Kardashian. Now that in itself sounds crazy. But see, this ain't the first time Jason got pissed off at Beyonce. There was a video that went viral when Jason was walking up to meet Beyonce at an event. But right before he got close enough to talk to her, Beyonce spotted him and tried swerving to the other side of the room to avoid him. <laughs> As you can see, he and Beyonce are definitely not friends. That's just something he made up in his head and ran with. However, ever since this came out, the streets have been talking and some people have been speculating about what the tea could be about. People believe he probably has receipts of Jay-Z mistreating Beyonce. Now this isn't the first time these rumors have been brought up, but it recently got worse after Beyonce's alleged former bodyguard, Ron, revealed that Jay got Beyonce hooked on nose candy so he could control her. Nobody knows, but I'll say it, man. Yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She's been on them for a long time, and you keep her that way. This was also confirmed by Jaguar Wright, who accused Jay-Z of pumping Beyonce up on drugs. Now, I'm known he's a monster for years. Mm -hmm. I waited a long time to see if he would grow a conscience. And the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in the I, I, I know, girl. <laughs> and of course, there was this viral video of Beyonce looking high and zoned out at a basketball game. She could barely keep her eyes open and kept slowly swinging her head side to side so she could try and stay awake. So as y'all can see, Jason Lee has pretty much opened up a whole can of worms with his threats. And he has a lot of people scrambling to know what the tea is. But then again, Jason Lee cannot be trusted because he pulls antics like this all the time when things don't go his way. Just a few days ago, he dragged Jennifer Hudson and called her illiterate after Jeannie Mai went on Jennifer Hudson's show to talk about her divorce from Jeezy instead of his show. Uh, is now speaking out on her unexpected divorce from Jeezy. And she went on the Jennifer Hudson show because that's where you go when you want to get your word across, I guess. Damn. Um, uh, <laughs> Yeah, we all know Jennifer Hudson's illiterate. Well, look, uh, damn, she, God, she, damn, she, damn, she went on she damn, went on the so. show to talk to her. Joe, this man really sat there and called an EGOT winner illiterate just because Jeannie Mai decided to go for the interview and not him. Like I said before, Jason is a very entitled man, and he throws fits like this every single time something don't go his way. Oh, but he didn't stop there. He took to Twitter to say, in case y'all didn't hear me, Jennifer Hudson is a horrible talk show host. She's a great singer, a good actress, a beautiful mom, but horrible at talking. None of you watch her show, but you fake mad. Get the F out of here. And baby, people were not feeling this and they went off on Jason. This video is to Jason Lee. I'm a barb, so it's always and forever smoke with you, but the audacity of you to sit up here and call Grammy, Emmy, Tony and Oscar award winning artist, writer, producer, actress, Jennifer Hudson Illiterate, just because you're mad that she got the Jeannie Mai exclusive interview and you didn't. I don't know if you know Jason Lee, but you're not a journalist. You don't work for a magazine or a newspaper. You are a gossip blogger. Your claim to fame is Hollywood Unlocked Instagram. Your show on Revolt got cut. What part of your brand aligns with Jeannie Mai in any way, shape or form? You thought that she was gonna come on your YouTube channel to tell her business? Why? Your show isn't even on TV. Jennifer Hudson is on daytime television, i.e. the same thing Jeannie Mai is on. So what made you think that your brand whose claim to relevancy in this very moment is Blueface and Jaden, Krishan, and then Blueface's mom aligns more with Jeannie Mai than somebody who's in the exact same industry she's in? You sitting up here calling somebody who's an actress and writes their own music illiterate just because you're jealous, but that's on brand for you because your whole brand is about degrading black women. If you couldn't come on the internet and degrade black women, I don't know who or what you would be, Jason Lee, respectfully. And then you gonna sit up here and say, oh, I guess the Jennifer Hudson show is where you go when you got something to say, babe, you are part of the ghetto news media. Why would anybody who has anything to say come do it on your YouTube channel? Are you crazy? Like, 
Moral of the story, Jason Lee, Jennifer Hudson is more decorated, accomplished, and talented than you will ever be in your life. So stop being jealous of a black woman and take that jealousy and put it back into yourself. So maybe one day you would have something that somebody like Jeannie Mai would actually want to come and sit down on. But for right now, you're going to stay with the Krishans and the blue faces because that's what you are right now. You're, you're like academics. You only have this energy for women because when Jay-Z snatched that phone out your hand, it was look around, everybody on mute. And she didn't tell a lie. Even though I think Jason is definitely full of himself, there's still a huge chance that he probably has some tea on Beyonce. Cause one thing about Jason is he can be messy, but when he says he's got the tea, he really does have the tea. And with the way them people were gagging when he was telling them what he knew, oh, I know it's something very serious that could probably destroy everything Beyonce has built. As usual, people have their own two cents to say about this mess, and they took to social media to drag Jason through the gutter for blackmailing Beyonce. One person said, Jason Lee is the best example of why Beyonce keeps her entire distance from these weird ass fans. And Jason Lee is trying to do Beyonce how he did Nicki Minaj. The only difference between Nicki and Beyonce is Beyonce's husband will literally remove Jason Lee from the internet if he doesn't stop. Can you imagine what Jay-Z would do to him? My goodness. Another person said, Kelly won't do the interview. Beyonce was literally trying to avoid him at the event. She is not his friend. He's delusional and throws a tantrum whenever someone doesn't want to interview with him. Ghetto and unprofessional. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Jason blackmailing Beyonce? And do y'all think he has some really damaging tea or is he just running his mouth? Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.